Game user settings. Now, 100 creators a month or every new season, every new chapter make videos on this. And I'll be real, none of them are optimized. They're literally just optimizing their in-game video settings, which I did a video on yesterday if you want to check it out. It's actually uh, one of the most optimized on YouTube. There's a lot of stuff in there that people are not mentioning, pros are hiding, so check it out. Yeah, but game settings, they just optimize their video settings and just then give you the game config file for those video settings, where there actually is a lot of separate individual things in your game config that you can do outside of the game that you cannot actually access inside of the game. So I will show you them today. I'm going to give you the actual config file. It will be in my Discord server. It's only in there because Discord do take away Google Drive or like download links. I don't really like using Mega. You have to pay for subscription because I've maximized my uh, free trial and Google Drive links get deleted. So you can join my Discord server. Um, this is an employ for new members. Feel free to leave afterwards, but it will be there. So you guys can go there. But trust me, if you want to watch this video because I will be showing you and going through everything. Some of these things will be tailored and you need to do them for your PC in particular. They're subjective and I don't want you to break your system. So going straight into this local app data percent, just type it in. If it doesn't come up, just type in run and then type in the exact same thing. Now you want to press F on your keyboard. You should find Fortnite game, go to saved, config, windows, client, games and settings. You can go to properties and ensure read only is unticked. Otherwise you won't be able to make changes. Now coming into here, these right here are the best settings. So now I'm going to go through a few things. There's actually some new stuff in here as well. So cosmetic stream Streaming enabled, code set disabled. This is something that you want disabled. It's new. Well, it's not new. It's been in your Epic Games launcher for a while, but it's new in terms of it's now in your game config and you can change it here directly without going for your uh, Epic Games launcher and going into your options and your launch options. It's just streamlined basically. Um, and also I know it says DX11 here. Don't worry, this is not DX11. I use performance mode. It's the most optimized. It references or correlates to my last video. So again, you can check that out just to ensure yourself. But scrolling down motion blur, of course, have this on false. This isn't new um, or anything, but yeah, you want this on false. Show grass. This is actually a placebo. It doesn't really do anything, but you want it on false. Why not? GPU crash debugging. False. Big one. Not many people talk about this. I've seen some people actually keep this on true in their game config. So even if you change it in game, sometimes it won't update your game config and it will say disabled in game, whereas in your game config, it's set to true, which then is still using GPU crash debugging, which then is still, you know, taking FPS. Stop rendering in background. You want that on false, which is basically disabled. Let me just actually clear that up right now. If anything's on false, it just means disabled and true means enabled basically. And in this case, we're stopping it and we have it on false. So we're starting it. So we want it to render in the background. Now, this doesn't mean rendering like while you're in a game, it's just loading everything as you're in the game because cosmetic streaming actually loads things prior. That's the idea of it. It will load things prior if you have it disabled. And that will basically when you go into game, it's not trying to load and render 50 different things and it's not using your FPS and dropping your frames. So this is completely different. When you have this set to render in the background, what it's doing is it's rendering in the background. So before you go into the game, in this case, this is what it's referring to just to clear things up. This is a new one, temporal super resolution quality. Have this set to custom. Basically, all of these options are the custom options and you just want them all on zero, which is the lowest you can have. Front end frame limit, make sure that is on 120. If you have a low end PC, you can set this to 60, but I would recommend 120 for any, you know, average mid tier to high tier PC. Display gamma. This used to be one that people would say would affect your FPS. Has actually no uh, FPS change now. And if you mess with this value, it can really just damage how your game both looks and feels. So I'll keep this as is. This is a default value this season. Scrolling all the way down, mass acceleration. Uh, I have that on true. So to say your mass acceleration is enabled, but it actually is a placebo because you basically just do all those optimizations in Windows anyway. And if you haven't yet, I suggest you do it. Uh, if you just type in mouse settings, click here, um, go to additional mouse options options. Literally just copy what I've got here. So I have this set to the middle. I think it's like six notches uh, to the right. Pointer options have this set to the middle as well. And just literally just copy these settings, everything here. Um, and this will optimize your mouse. These are the best mouse settings. A little uh, plug here. Of course, you can make also optimizations in your like mouse software. So I have a Logitech G Pro wireless, but I'll get onto that later in the video. Now, a few others I don't see people mention is auto launch full game. Have that on false because if it auto launches a full game, it launches save the world, everything and this is kind of, again, another launch option thing, but you only want your battle royale to launch unless you actually use save the world. You may want to have this on true, but any otherwise, you don't want that auto load in the background. It would take resource and it basically just runs in the background. You know, you're going to be using TPU and power in doing so, and it would take a lot of memory as well. Allow download high res MIPS, have that on false. You do not want anything high res to be downloaded, especially on performance mode. Allow low power mode, obviously on false. Allow video playback. Set this to true. This is any videos like cutscenes. So if 
you don't want cutscenes, they can get very annoying. You can set this to false. I have it on true. I kind of like watching the cutscenes every now and then. But if you have read only set on your game config, they will just keep replaying every time you launch a game, which I understand it can get annoying. This is the fix here. Resolution, have that on 90 20 by 1080. You can lower this to 1280 by 720. If you have a low NPC, I wouldn't recommend. Or obviously, you, you may be using stretch res. That's your own provocative. Like, go ahead, do that. V Sync, have that on false unless you literally have a terrible PC and cannot get over 60 FPS. Audio quality level, I have this set to one and you want to change this bottom one, like the last confirmed one as well, just so it saves. But yeah, have this set to one. One is equivalent to low. So having this on two would be high. This is basically low audio quality, which gives you the best FPS. Frame rate limit, something you want to also adjust. So minus 240, I have a 240 hertz. You want to basically just go one option above your refresh rate. So if you have 144 hertz, which most of you will, go to 160 or 165. If you have 120, la da 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 you can reference this through your actual in-game settings. I showed this on my last video again. Ray chasing, false. You do not want this on. It'll ruin your FPS. All of these set to zero. Very, very important. Set all of these to zero and have your resolution quality set to 99. This one's underrated. Trust me, that one decimal makes a difference. And all of these chat settings, having these set to certain values, like false, trilogy, whatever, it does make a difference. If you're getting unnecessary invites and things pop up on your screen or have friend requests enabled so you allow friend requests. I think I do. I'm um, not sure what that is. But if you allow friend requests or friend invites, the more friend requests you have, the lower FPS you have. So definitely look at this one. But these are pretty optimized for the most part. And that covers everything. So now you can file, save, and yeah, brilliant. And also I'd recommend you select read only again. So Epic Games does not automatically change these values and ruin your FPS when you load your game. And back to my point on mouse optimizations. I've mentioned this in my last video and I think the video before that. But there's this program called Hone. This isn't sponsored. They paid me. I know Transparency paid me for the first video. I did my due diligence. Great application. That's why I promoted it to you guys. And now I'm promoting it for free because I genuinely love the software. It's so simple. You can basically for completely free, you get the application. You can enable 10 things. So 10 optimizations can be enabled in one click and they are very, very advanced. Bear in mind. But yeah, there's an optimized mouse option and this is going to do everything for your mouse. Like it's going to make the world of a difference. It's free to do. You can download it. I'll link it down below. Again, I'm not being paid for this. So yeah, go and check it out. Highly recommend. You don't have to do this completely optional but it's a software i can vouch i've used it and i'm using it currently as you can see i've got all these things enabled